Hey everybody, happy Sunday, happy Sunday. How y'all doing today? Let me pull my drink up here. I got some whole one of those drink packs of Hawaiian punch today. Mm-hmm. So happy Sunday to you. How y'all doing? What you got going on this fine Sunday? Thought I'd take a little swig of that right quick, right quick. Ooh. I ain't been doing a whole lot, a whole lot, a whole lot. Hold on one second. I'm going to say my blessings and I'll let y'all know what I got for dinner. Heavenly Father, Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for waking us up this morning, Father God. Thank you for the food that we are about to receive. Uh, for the nourishment of my body, for Christ's name, amen. Amen. So, let me tell you what I got first before I put my boy Frank's out. I scotched my cabbage a little bit, but I got some smothered cabbage with a little bacon down in it. Some okra and some uh, baked chicken wings mm -hmm. for my dinner. I didn't want to try and do too much today. But yeah, I did chicken wings because I'm going to do it for my meal prep. So I said, I might as well eat some chicken wings. Well, I might as well eat some chicken wings. Today. What y'all cooking good over there today? What y'all cooking good? Mm -hmm. I savaged this cabbage. I was so upset because I got to doing all thing. Got a load of laundry going. I was emptying my trash in the bathrooms and stuff and, and getting it bagged up so I could take it out to the dumpster in the morning when I go. Hmm. It ain't too bad. Only some of it stuck to the can, to the pot. There you go. Mm -hmm. That's what a piece of that bacon. Mm -hmm. Don't that has make you mad? And when you get to doing 500 and them things, that's my problem. I be multitasking. Sometimes can't do that. And you know, I had let it cook right. Then I came back and threw that okra down in there. So, I knew I should been watching. Anyway, so y'all know I got something to talk about. Yeah. So, I was, um, this guy had did a poll, Trey King, on that. And he said, do you think people that tamper with food should be prosecuted and go to jail? And I answered yes. And that basically was a result of you know, people think they're being funny. Going in and licking the blueberry ice cream. And y'all, I love blueberry vanilla, homemade. Ice cream and putting it back in the cabinet. Putting it back in the freezer. You know, that mess not cute. You know, people just do just stuff like that. But I recently bought some Halo Top. And I bought other brands like this too. And paint, I think it was Hockey Nuts. And some of the little small ones where they come with a protective film over. Um, but you know, you don't you had a protective film that you got to peel off. It's secured. You know, and I know stuff can still be messed with, but you know, I think that's what people hurt people by doing stuff like that. You know, you cause now say Blue Bell, I'm not saying they shouldn't have been doing it. They start doing this now. The added cost of that is not going to be passed on to the consumer. But I really say five or six, seven, eight dollars. You know, what I mean, five or six, seven, eight cents extra. But more than likely, it's going to be like thirty or forty. But I pay that too. For straight up my food. But it's a shame you have to even do stuff like that for people being just trifling and their behavior, you know. So what do y'all think? Do y'all think that people that tamper with food should be prosecuted? Hmm. Y'all I know what I'm about to say. Probably it's not gonna be popular. This is to dog owners. 
I was reading a story, an article. I think this happened over in Ireland. This owner had a cocker spaniel. Well, it was a swan, and they were in a public park. And there was some swans in the, I guess, in the pond. Or the lake or whatever it is there at the park. And the swan beat the dog to death with the wing. Winged the dog to death. Which was unfortunate. You know. And people were saying that the, the, they need to put up something warning people. You know, this could happen. Well, I'm not against that, and I'm not saying they shouldn't. That dog owner is responsible. And I'm not being funny at all. Dog owners are quick to say they treat their children like, they treat their pets like children. Okay. And I've said this time and time again, because even here, you know, they'll let the dog loose as soon as they get to the park, which is not fair to other people in the park. And sometimes, if the dog does something to you, then you come, it's on you. The owner never takes responsibility. You spook my dog. That dog, he normally don't act like that. It's something you, as a victim, become to blame for the pet's actions. Some kind of way. And if not, and so, this is my thing. Don't just treat your dogs and say they're like family and they're like your children when it's convenient for you. Be responsible. Don't let your dog off the leash when you go into public places. In your yard and stuff like that, that's fine. But when you're in public places, no. You know, because even if, say I react and I see your dog, in my mind, your dog, I teeth your dog might be come to attack me or one of my loved ones. So if I do something to your dog that you got loose around in the park, then you thinking, because I'm just going to be like the swan in the, in the lake or in the pond or whatever. I'm going to be ready to protect myself. And if that means your pet get hurt, well, I don't know what you getting ready to do, what that dog getting ready to do to me. And I know for the most part, pets are friendly, but you don't never know. Because, you know, I'm fearful of dogs. When you've been bit by a dog, your mind thinking, all dogs got teeth and they can bite. And I'm saying this to say this. I'm just saying, pet owners, be more responsible for your pets. Be Take on ownership that, you know, of your pets. And be, you know, be courteous to other people that don't have pets. You know, people don't know and they don't feel the same way you do about your pet. It'll just be like saying, I'm going to use this as an example. And a pet, a dog, is like an infant. It's not like a child that you get that's going to grow up, turn 18, leave home you no longer really responsible for. A pet is going to always be in that infancy, um, infancy like elementary, like stage, like a child. It's like saying if your child go in the store, you've trained your child. Your, your pet may be trained. It's just like saying if your child go in the store and steal, seven, eight years old. Now, you've trained your child not to do that, right? You've raised your child correctly, your child will do that, but your child went in there and took something out the store. Now, I'm going to make this kind of an, so you can understand what I'm saying. Are you going to then blame the child or are you going to blame the store for having items in the store that tempted the child? A rational person would say, my child was out of line. But, you know, pet owners don't think that. They don't think it's ever the dog's fault. It's always somebody else's fault. And that's what I'm saying. You need to treat your child like a child. Treat If you're going to treat your pet like a child, be responsible for your pet and act like that. And take on that true responsibility. So, that's all I'm saying. And I know. Y'all probably don't agree with me. That have dogs. And that's fine. I get it. Anyway. That's enough for my soapbox today. 
But I don't know if there's any places like that in America that have like, you know, swans like that out, you know. Of course, the swan was protecting like this duckling because they didn't know what the dog was going to do. And had the dog, because I've seen dog attack other dogs walking down the street and everything else. And it's just like, it's fearful me. And y'all, I read this story too today about this Florida man that took a shortcut home. And he's deceased now. I hate to be bringing all this grim and damn news today. But from 100 dog bites, the dogs attacked him. course these are dogs out in the wild and stuff that's why i'm like i'm like mm -mm. i can't i can't do it so i understand a lot of people love their pets but yeah that's the very reason why a lot of people don't care for pets and care for animals of stuff like that and all these grim and damn stories and stuff. And now, I think people shouldn't get pet. They say they're not going to take care of them and be responsible for them, period. In all aspects. That's just my thought process on that. But anyway. So, y'all. Have anybody went to see Chef? And if so, did you like it? I didn't even know. When my brother was telling me, do y'all like oak? I love me some oak. I don't know. A lot of people say they don't eat it because they don't like slime and stuff. But it's delicious. Maybe I missed something. I didn't even know they was bringing another chef out, first of all. And I didn't have a really seen any press on it. They were talking about another movie that Samuel Jackson was in. It was out. But normally, when they be in these movies, they go around doing, like, press releases and stuff. I need to make me some more. Best was, I'm not through meal prepping. I got some asparagus in there I need to cook. And I'm going to cook some either some broccoli or cauliflower. I cut up the strawberries already for the week. And I noticed something, too. In that pack of strawberries, they had, like, um, a lot of them wasn't all the way red. I'm like, can't they wait? Mm -hmm. Oh, y'all. I forgot. I just thought about it. I forgot to do the drawing for the last month's winner of the $25 gift card. I'll do it tomorrow. And I'll let y'all know one day this week who won. Oh, I'm sorry, y'all. I apologize. Because mm -hmm. I'm running behind schedule. And I will probably... Just make it another $25 gift card for this month, too. And I also pulled that from a random video just to make it simple and easy, plain and easy. Anyway. Y'all let me know something y'all might like to see as a giveaway. I'm not saying I can... I mean, with the reason y'all look at the size of the channel, of course, we don't earn that much money on the ads or stuff that much, but you know. 
just within reason. And I'll see if I can do it. If I can, I will. If I can, I just won't. But I'll do something. We still got some more giveaways until October. And it's the end of our year giveaway. So, I hope everybody who has gotten something this year has have enjoyed it. And, you know, if you have one, you still have an opportunity to do so. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, I'm, I read my weekly, my daily word was on motive today. I'm not going to talk about it, but I read, you know, I have the daily devotional I read. And it was on motive, why are you doing stuff? Are you doing stuff for people to notice you? I get noticed. I always wonder sometimes when people do stuff, you know, what are you doing it for? And if you feel compelled to do it, you know, for the right reason, make sure you're doing things for the right reason. Really was the gist of the word and don't have an ulterior motive. Anyway, that's enough of my talking and talking about a bunch of nothing as usual, you know, and stuff I see and read about or look at. You know how I do, y'all. Anyway, I want y'all to have a lovely Sunday. Enjoy the rest of your night. You know that I love you, but God truly loves you the most. Remember to always be kind to yourself and others. Be joyful and be blessed. And I'll see y'all later this week for the weekly word. Maybe another meal in a chat. And most definitely to announce the giveaway winner for last month. Love you much. Have a good night. Bye.